On-the-scene coverage of ACC 13 is supported by Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Incorporated. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, and I'm here talking to Dr. Paul Douglas uh, at the ACC 13 meeting in San Francisco. A very exciting meeting, lots of new data. And Paul, the problem of diastolic dysfunction, or as we all refer to it now, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, that's been a bugaboo. There just hasn't been any good treatment. There was a trial presented today, the RELAX trial, that aimed to uh, evaluate a potential therapy. Uh, what do you think? Well, you know, this has been a real challenge for most clinicians uh, that, you know, almost 50% of people with heart failure will have preserved ejection fractions, and we really just don't have good therapies for them, unfortunately. So the RELAX trial offered a lot of promise, you know, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors, you know, it made sense. There had been some clinical trials that had suggested, small clinical trials, that had suggested that maybe this as a target uh, would enhance uh, the production of cyclic GMP, uh, maybe would turn off the remodeling process, improve vascular function, renal function. So it made sense that maybe this was something that we could do that would uh, help us in terms of managing these patients. Sure, and, and we all knew that there was a, a PDE5 inhibitor, um, uh, Viagra sildenafil, that had been used clinically uh, not only for erectile dysfunction but also for pulmonary hypertension. So, so there was a PDE inhibitor available that, that might be a benefit. Exactly, and, and it, it made sense. I mean, I think it made good clinical sense. Uh, we certainly have very little to offer these patients, and so the trial had a lot of potential. But unfortunately, it appears that if you look at measuring uh, ability, the six minute uh, walk test, and looking at uh, VO2, that there was really no significant improvement. And so it, it's, it's disappointing, but I think it helps us in terms of building a knowledge base uh, for trying to identify targets that we can, you know, and, I'm, and maybe we should be thinking about other things now. Yeah, well, what I liked about the RELAX trial was that they used the meaningful endpoint at the end of, of uh, 24 weeks, and, and, that, and that was VO2 consumption. If right. it, it, It's a hard endpoint, and if, if you could increase your VO2, you'd probably have uh, better functionality. Um, Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Uh, they also looked at a whole variety of echocardiographic measurements of, of diastolic uh, right. performance, and right. there really wasn't much change there either. Yeah, again, very, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. You know, we, uh, uh, this should have been an easy trial to uh, recruit, especially men for, uh, but it was a difficult trial to get into because you had to be able to walk those six minutes and to qualify for the trial. And the inclusion criteria was relatively strict. So it was a relatively small trial, only 100, a little over 100 uh, patients in each, in each group. Uh, and so you would hope that you may have seen something, some signal that uh, there might be some benefit, but it doesn't appear that there was any. Yeah, no, I know, I, I take your point on that, and I think that that was another strength, that oftentimes it's difficult to determine uh, whether a patient really does have uh, heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. They're a little bit short of breath, or might, maybe only with exercise, and, and they, they may have a, a little bit of an elevation of, of BNP or a biomarker. Right. And so in this, in this study, they had rigid criteria, uh, not only for ejection fraction, for some biomarkers, and in fact, in the, in, in the absence of definitive information, they even required invasively measured uh, pulmonary wedge pressure. So a very well characterized group of patients who really had this syndrome of, uh, of HEFPATH. Exactly, and so it was well designed and I think that the recruitment was a little difficult because it was so well designed. And so it was hard to get patients enrolled, uh, but again, 
uh, no real benefit. So that's, that is indeed very, very uh, disappointing, uh, but I think that it helps us in terms of advancing our knowledge base. Well, the ser search will go on. We'll continue to treat what we can treat, that is blood pressure and heart rate and ischemia, et cetera, and continue to look for a, a better treatment for a heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Thanks very much for watching.